hello and welcome to this video guys so in our last video we have uh, set up our reactor router with uh, our react application so we will be able to route through our application to different paths and in this video we will be seeing how to add custom fonts with our tailwind css so in tailwind css we are provided with these uh, fonts already available so font sense, font serif, font mono that fo follows this font family CSS property. Okay, but uh, to include uh, Google fonts, let's say uh, custom fonts in our applications, how we are going to do it. So I have searched this Poppins font. So this one I will be using in this application, and we'll taking a regular one. okay and from here we have taken the regular one okay so we have pro they have provided us this link and we will go with import okay so from here to here we will copy from import let me zoom it a bit okay so this is the part and go to import and this is the import okay copy this and we will go to our index.css and at the top we will import this okay so this will import our font from google fonts with this url now let's go back to this font and they have provided us this css rules i think this font one poppins and serif sensor if this one we will be using okay so let's go back to our tailwind config.css so they have already provided us these fonts but we need to extend these fonts family to use this custom font okay so we go here with font family and uh, inside it we will be providing it a name for this one pop Pins is the name, right? P O P P I N S. Yes. Poppins. And for Poppins, we will be using two things, right? First one is our Poppins. And second one is if this Poppins is not imported for some reason, we will be using our old sensor okay so now i think we are ready to use this poppins font so there is some issue let me check this once so i just restarted the project and it works fine okay so let's go to the home page so this is our home page so that's how it looks right now let me zoom it a bit to see so this is our home page this is the default font okay so class name equals to and if we go to the default fonts let's say i want to go with font mono first Font mono. So you can see our font is changed with font mono. Okay. So now let's go with the font poppins. So you can see this is the font poppins change if i remove it it should go back to our default font okay that is it guys so we have added our custom font with our react application so i'll meet you in the next video and we'll move towards building our application